Hello my quilting friends! My name is Leah Day and welcome to the tutorial for Pointy Paisley Pileup. This is a super easy, super fast beginner level free motion quilting design and it starts out by stitching a triangle shape, returning to your starting point, pivot and echo. And here I have the end of my triangle kind of cut off by the edge of the quilting space. That's okay, just fill it the best way you can within your area. And then to move on with the design, we are overlapping. We are actually gonna stitch this so that the shapes intentionally overlap one another. And it kind of makes it a little bit messy, but that also makes it very, very forgiving. So if you are stitching and just having a little bit of trouble with travel stitching perfectly, with echoing perfectly, this is gonna be a great choice. It's gonna give you the opportunity to practice pointy paisley shapes without it having to look absolutely perfect and without your mistakes being super, super obvious. So this is a great beginner level, I call it super beginner level design. So I'm gonna move on with the design here just by travel stitching carefully along one of those lines and then branching out with another pointy paisley shape. You can put your foot down and move a lot faster or you can keep your machine running at a fairly slow pace and moving your hands at a fairly slow pace too. So now that we've given this design a try on a home sewing machine, let's give this a try on a much bigger machine on a much larger scale. So I am on my Evolution hoop frame using the Cunique 19X Elite and I'm stitching on my chain of beads quilt. So you can actually find this free quilt pattern if you'd like to follow along. And I'm using basically all of these designs and little spaces within this quilt. It's great practice. It's a great way to see how the designs work. And it's also a great way of learning lots of different free motion quilting designs. So I'm gonna pull up thread right here I just pull my machine over and then needle down, needle back up. Tug on that thread and that brings my bobbin thread up to the surface. And then I like to take three stitches, not in place, kind of moving in the direction where I want the design to go. So I'm gonna be stitching my first triangle out this way. And I like to lock the thread without creating a little glob of thread, you know, without creating a knot. Okay. Now let's think about pointy paisley. We're gonna think about a triangle shape coming all the way back to that starting point. Then we're gonna pivot and echo around it. And this is a bed quilt. So I'm aiming to put a half of an inch between those lines of stitching. Might not do it perfectly, but when I can expand, and have more space between these lines. I'm gonna really try and do that. That's gonna keep this quilt soft. All right, so that is my pointy paisley shape. Now I'm gonna travel stitch along it. Might not do that perfectly, that's a-okay, because this is an overlapping design and it's allowed to be messy. It's actually not gonna matter if it gets messy. That just adds to the design. And I'm going to aim to overlap these a little bit without overlapping them so much that it really locks up the texture and makes the quilt too dense. So this is another reason to focus on having nice spacing between your lines because as you add more lines of quilting, as you add more pointy paisley shapes, the quilting is gonna tend to get dense. So that's something to just watch out for. I think you can see that I'm just branching out in all different directions. Occasionally I will branch out in a way that's very much like regular pointy paisley and then I have to mix it up by really overlapping like right here. I'm just crossing that whole set of shapes right on top of that other one. Occasionally I want to keep it nice and neat and travel stitch within the boundaries of my area and then sometimes I really want to take a shape out all the way so that way I reach a new area of my quilt. So here I'm just gonna fill in two little lines and then we're gonna get into this new space over here. That's really where I'm going. There we go. Now, if you ever feel like you're getting a death grip of your handlebars, just open up your hands and remember that you can move this machine 
with really just your fingertips. It's on wheels. It moves really smoothly and easily, almost too easily. This is the thing. Whenever you switch from foam sewing machine quilting to putting your machine on a frame, the biggest thing that you're gonna to have to adjust to is the fact that you can move the machine so much easier, so much more fluidly, and it's easy to make those big shapes. It's faster, it feels good, uh, but then you can kind of get a little bit messy and you might not like the look of that messiness on your quilts. Designs like pointy paisley pile up, paisley pile up, these are great choices because they're gonna secure your quilt. They're gonna intentionally look a little bit messy and that's okay. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and you'll give this design a try. It is a super beginner design. It's perfect for those people who are just getting started, either home sewing machine free motion quilting or long arm quilting. Doesn't matter which style of quilting, it's a great design to pick. So if you'd like to find more designs like this, something to get started with, an idea or inspiration to quilt your next quilt, come and check out my website, leahday.com. You'll find tools, supplies, and literally hundreds of free motion quilting videos. <laughs> Come and check it out, leahday.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.